we learn about the light in physics. Father of optics is known as Alheimer. So what will we learn in this process? We will learn what is reflection, laws of reflection. What is refraction and laws of refraction? What are lenses, types of lenses, image formation in lenses, uses of lenses and in the end we will answer some questions. So, what is reflection? Reflection is known as the bouncing back of light to the same medium. Parallel light, the light rays hit a mirror, a smooth and even surface and bounce back parallelly. When light rays hit a, a, round, a rough and uneven surface, uh, they go in different directions or scatter. So this is the example of uh, light rays hitting a mirror which is called regular reflection. The example of uh, light rays hitting the ground is called diffuse reflection which is here. This is the classic reflection uh, which means the light ray hits a smooth surface and bounces back. Laws of reflection. What do we know about the laws of reflection? Laws of reflection means uh, there are two laws of reflection. So the first law is angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The second law is the angle of incident, the incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal to the surface all lie in the same uh, same plane incidence. So what is the incident angle? Uh, what is the angle of incident? Incident ray angle of reflection angles. So incident ray is the ray that comes from a, a sun or any source of light. Say tube, tube lights, bulbs, any source of light. A light ray comes in a mirror which is known as incident ray. When it bounces back, it is known as a ref, a ref, a reflected ray. Normal is the plane drawn in between separate the beam shape. So the angle formed between the normal and incident ray is known as the incident angle and the normal and reflected ray is known as the reflected angle. What is refraction? Refraction might be a very advanced but a very easy term to understand. The refraction of light occurs when the light wave incident at an angle away from the normal passes a boundary from one medium into another in which there is a change of velocity of the light. This may be a very good example for uh, refraction as it goes into another plane gas and it, it's, it's a whole new different medium and it bends. A pencil is also very good. The change. Laws of refraction. So uh, reflection and re refraction have laws. A force of refraction is the incident ray refracted by and the normal to the interface of the two media at the point of coincidence all lie on the same plane. Ratio of the sign of angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of uh, reflection is constant. The first law states that all these are in the same plane. Incident ray, refracted ray. In reflection, the, re uh, the, the, the ray goes here, which is the reflected ray. Now the refracted ray goes below, but it strikes a bend. It does not go straight. If it uh, goes straight, it means it did not reflect or refract. It, it's bending means it has, it's a refracted ray. So these all lie the same vertical plane. What are lenses? The main topic of this seminar is lenses. So what are lenses? Len a lens is a piece of transparent glass which concentrates or disperses light rays when passed pass through them by refraction. So, uh, there are two types of lenses, concave lenses and convex lenses. Concave lens. A concave lens is the thinner in the middle and thicker in the edges. So we can see it's very thin in the middle and thick in the edges. So comparatively it's more thicker in the edges. We can also understand its concave lens by the way it's caved in. It's a bit caved in. So we can understand its concave lens. Uh, convex lens. Convex lens is thicker in the middle and thinner in the edges. So in the edges is very thin and in the middle is very thick. So a concave lens is thicker in the middle and thinner in the edges. Concave lens. Important definitions. This important definition not only for concave lens, it's important for concave
performance comes to. So the important definitions are pole, focus, focal length, and center of curvature. So what is the pole? Pole is this line, which is like an axis in the mirror, in the lens. And focus is the point where the light rays converge, which is here. It's denoted as F1. And the center of curvature, so when this lens is turned into a circle, roughly, this would be the center. That is why it's called the center of curvature. Focal length. Focal length is the length between uh, the origin and the focus. Concave lenses image formation one. An object placed at infinity forms a virtual image at the focus. The size of the image is much smaller than that of the object. So now we are learning two things here. Object placed at infinity. The infinity can be anywhere. A very long distance from here. Infinity. So if it's placed here at infinity, so let's say this red point is infinity. The image will come here. Hit the rays and uh, form here, which is called the focus. We just discussed it was the focus. The size of the image is also another important notable factor. Uh, the size of the image is much smaller than that of the object. So the size of the image is very small. Concave lenses image formation too. So this is a different case. Where the object is placed at a finite distance from, from, from the lens, the object placed at a finite distance from the lens forms a virtual image between the pole and the focus of the con con concave lens. As a result, the size of the image is smaller than that of the object. So if the image is here, the light rays move accordingly and when they intersect, they meet here and that's where the top of the image will be. So this is where the image forms. It's, been, it's in the focal length and this one is between the focus and the center of curvature. Concave lens is image formation. Now let's summarize what we learned in the past two slides in a uh, table. Object location infinity. Image location at S1. Image nature, the image is virtual and erect. Image size, highly diminished or point size. So the next, uh, next case we learnt is object location beyond infinity and optical center. Uh, image location is between focus F1 and the optical center O. Image nature, virtual and erect. Image size, diminished. One thing we can note is that the image formed by a concave lens is always virtual and erect. Now let's move on to convex lenses image formation. So when an object is placed at infinity, so let's say A, B as the object, the, the image forms at the focus. So this side is entirely called 2F1 which is center of curvature and F1. Here it's called F2 and 2F2. So this is the where the image usually forms and this is where uh, the image is kept. When an object is placed at, at infinity, the real image is formed at the focus. So the object here is placed at infinity and the real image will be formed at the focus uh, of the other side. The size of the image is just highly diminished and point size. So we can say that the size of the image is very, very small. Concave lenses image formation, second case. So it's placed beyond at a finite distance, but it's beyond the center of curvature. So the image will form uh, here in the center of curvature, between the center of curvature and focus. The image size will uh, not be the same as the object, it will be a bit small. Con convex lenses image formation thing. When an object is at the center of curvature, the real image is formed at the other center of curvature. The size of the image is same as, uh, same as compared that of the object. So, so suppose AB is here 
4. Uh, so here, uh, the fourth case we can see is that the image is at the center of curvature and focus. It's between the center of curvature and focus. So the image forms are uh, beyond the center of curvature. The size of the image will be larger than that of the object. Image formation in complex lenses case 5. When an object is placed at a focus, the radium is formed at infinity. The size of the image is much larger than that of the object. So the object is placed at f1 and the image and the parallel lines go far away and the image would be very large, much, much larger than the focus. Complex lenses image formation image formation. Object location infinity, image location at F2. Image nature near an inverted image size diminished point size. So object location beyond F uh, beyond F2, image location 2F2, between 2F2 and F2, uh, image nature near an inverted image size diminished. Object location between F uh, between 2F1 and F1. Uh, image location beyond 2F2. Image nature near and inverted, image size enlarged. Image location at S1, image uh, object location at S1, image location at infinity, image nature uh, near and inverted, image size infinitely larger, high enlarged. Object location at S1, at 2 S1, image location at 2 S2, uh, real and inverted would be the image nature and the image size would be same. Exactly the same size. Now let's compare concave versus convex. Uh, uh, the uh, lens is a piece of transparent glass which considered of this. Uh, we learned that. Now we are learning the difference between uh, convex and concave. Convex is uh, one notable difference is their appearance. And uh, one more fact we can note is that it, this uh, convex lens converges light. And the concave lens diverges right. So if we keep a convex lens near a source of light or sun, the point will uh, it will converge and it will burn a piece of paper. Uses of convex lenses. We can use convex lenses as magnifying glass, which is uh, which we can use to, uh, to make the image infinitely large. Uh, eyeglasses for long sight. People who have a uh, long sight problem can use uh, eyeglasses made of convex lenses. Cameras use both concave and convex for uh, clear photos. Microscope is generate extremely magnified images of very small objects. So this is one uh, long side problem. Uh, so the con the lens here makes the light come to the blue surface, which is known as the retina, which helps us to see. Uses of concave lenses. Eyeglasses to treat myopia on short side. Cameras use both convex and concave. Concave lenses used in photos. Uh, use also used in flashlight because it diverges the light and this is a wide view. So these are a few examples of uh, where lenses are used in binoculars, telescopes, uh, these are like old fashioned glasses and magnifying glasses. Questions? You, uh, name one use of convex and concave lens and mirror. So we haven't discussed about con uh, convex and concave mirror. So we will just answer the question about lenses. So we use con so convex lenses makes things larger. So we can use convex to read a short side. Convex 
another thing is uh, we can use it as magnifying glass. So concave we can use as concave lens can be used in torchlight. 